Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Trisha Creative Mass Creations and today I'm going to be making uh embellishment from another embellishment box. This is gonna be a bit of a series as long as I have embellishment boxes. So this is gonna be my second one. I have three more so far to do after this, and if I do get any more um embellishment boxes, I'll be doing the same thing with those. Um so just to put it out there that I have a lot of bosses to do embellishments with, um, to do swaps. So if anybody want to do embellishment box swap with me or, um, want to swap a box or anything like that, just, just let me know. Um, there have been swaps on YouTube, uh, for embellishment boxes. Um, I might do one. I don't know. it be my first, uh, YouTube swap. I've done swaps. Um, on Facebook, SwapBot, and other places like that, but I've never done a YouTube swap. So, um, if anybody wants to do a embellishment box swap or group embellishment box swap, then let me know. Then I'll try to do one of those on YouTube, which I've never done before, but I'm, you know, game for anything new. So, the next embellishment box that I'm going to be making embellishments from is the one from, um, oh. She's going to be mad at me. I forgot who sent me this. Um, hold on. Give me a minute. Let me think. Uh, lasagna. Wait a minute. No. I am just stupefied right now. Okay. I did the swap with... Oh, yeah. Right. I'm right. Lasagna. Okay. Uh, um, Miss Doll... Well, she changed the channel. It used to be Miss Doll B. Now it's Miss Doll Created create I have something like that I had I put a description down in the box I mean by, under the in the description um but yeah this is the box from her um sorry about that hun I forgot who sent me this box but um I did swap with her and we did a one on something so this is the one that she sent me now this is a cool box because look at here guys if you haven't seen the other video this lights up isn't that pretty it lights up look at that I don't know if you can see it because it's got a lot of light in here let me see if I can turn this off you can see it yeah, it lights up. That is so neat. That was a good idea. So yeah, this one lights up. And again, just like the last box that I got from uh, Tiffany Russell at Nini's Crafts, I'm going to be only using embellishments from this box, nothing else. I'm just going to be using adhesives and, you know, things like that to use, you know, tools to make embellishments. So let's get started. All right. So, I already got my glue gun heat plugged up. I hope it heats up real quick. Um, so, uh, let's see. We might do something different with her box because I did um, paper clips and tags from the last one. So, let's do some tiny embellishments. So, I like these shapes. She did me some, cut me some um, scallop die cuts and some flowers. So, we might do some out of those. And there's some more scalp die cuts. So you might do something with those and some hearts. Oh, this is just white. And let's see what else we got in here. Um, this is a little, I think it's a little embellishment that she made out of a file folder die like this. It opens up, so I might do that. There is a few of those in here, or a couple. And she also sent me some I cut envelopes, little tags on where you can make write a message on them. So I might do something with that. Oh, I think does she glue that in there or does it come out? Let me see. I guess it doesn't come out. So that'd be good when make a um, bunch one out of. Let me see if they all like that. Oh, I just can get that one out. But yeah, let me try that. I can't get it out. Let's see. I don't want to rip the envelope or anything. But she probably didn't mean this. Oh, okay. It come out. Oh, yeah. All right. I just I invented it, but that's good. I'll probably make an embellishment out of that. If I not, if I can get it back in there. I'm having all kinds of issues already. Okay. So envelopes. Um, some word beads. And dominoes. Okay, the dominoes are my thing because I used to alter dominoes all of the time, which I need to get back into. So we do a couple of those. And she also sent me some paper beads. Those are so pretty. I was wanting to make some, but like I said before in another video, I can't get to the 
part of having to cut paper little slices of paper I mean I cut paper but um, if y'all were seeing how to make those yeah you have to cut paper like really thin slices of paper and I'm just not in the mood for that okay here's some tags but well, I don't think we're gonna do any tags this time oh there's the paper clips there's a really big paper clip in here let's do that one let's do a big one and a little one so we do some of those and we're gonna use some of these flowers and let me take those out um let's take that out let's take all of those out the little leaves <sighs> um it's hot in here guys i hear my shed because um like i told you before my air conditioning is going out and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and today it's not working and to eliminate the noise in the background, I just want to turn it like it's not working no way. So I just turned it off. Now see, see, these are some of my die cuts um, embellishments that she made. Put those in there. And let's see. Um, she has some acrylic. I like that bow. Acrylic uh, pieces that she made. Look at that big pretty flower. Now these I make these too with the um, amazing uh what is that? Amazing acrylic oh crap. I can't think of it. Let me see. The amazing uh craft resin, casting resin. It's this. Um this two parts and you mix it and you pour it into a mold and it turns white and hardens like this and it's like hard plastic so um i might do another video on those two and i am about out of the the mold um stuff i got probably this i don't think i have anything in here let me see i bought some more of this too but this is like yeah i got i don't know how i ended up with just a little bit of white and no yellow that's a two-part mix too but anyway, getting back to what we were doing. Okay. So yeah, those this what those acrylic pieces are. And these are just so pretty. So oh, and what I was gonna say about these is that you can paint these any color um with acrylic paint. They really take the acrylic paint. Because like I said, I've made some and painted them and they turned out great. So I'll use some of those and some sequins. She has some uh little acrylic pieces in there bows and hearts and teardrops little ribbon buckles and some enamel dots we'll probably use some of those and some of these but it's not that we're going to use in those it's too big for me but these are just, i can't get over these are just so cute i love these big old bows i'm gonna find something to do with those oh and let's use one of these like crepe paper, little one you can open up, and it's, there's a white one, uh, kind of like a mauve or a rose one, colored one, and there's another heart dot, and a mint green one. Well, yeah, that's, those are cute. So let's try to use a nose and some of this ribbon. All right, so let's get started and pull out some stuff. Some little die cut out, oh, um, things. So let's put that back. All right, let's move this off over there. And first, we're going to bring back in the flowers. Mm. I think that's all of them. Okay, and I know I'm going to use one of these centers in it. Let's use I like this color, so I just use this. And let's see. I don't know if y'all can see this because my mat that I got down is kind of like throwing off the color where you can't see it. Um, let's put this yeah, that down. Okay, I'm going to do something with these. So let's get some tools out. Um, I'm going to show you how I bend up my flowers uh, to make them more dimensional or make them dimensional. I'm just going to use this tool and I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to 
No, wait a minute. Not that way. No, nope, that's not the one I use. I need it's, um, actually a tweezers. Here we go. This I need. So I take these and I just take them and I just take them and pinch it like that and then I kind of like bend it. So this one's like over and the one on it is back that way. So then it looks like that. So and this kind of give them like you know, more um dimensional shape and yeah let's do this one instead of that one okay just kind of go right down the middle of it I can't use the other tool to round them off like that, but we're going to do this one because I haven't used it in a while. And let me see which one do I want on the top. I think I want that one on the top. And this, wait a minute. I'm not going to glue anything down yet until I figure out what I want to put on here. And this almost like it seems like it'll be too big, but I'm going to put it on there. So let's put this on first. I'm going to off center that in the middle press down a little bit and then where'd it go okay let me see if I can get this to open up I gotta see how I'm gonna do it okay let's do one side at a time so I'm gonna that side down just hold it down kind of like put it in the middle and then I'm going to bend this one over and glue it that side down isn't that cute okay alright and then oh, I'm throwing that gunner down again um Let's use some of this. Let's put some leaves on it. Use a shorter one. I'll put it in there like that. Yeah, I like it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit in there. I'm gonna slide that in there. Like so, and let's see. We got some bling in here. Let's see. Well, well this would be good if I had some stickles or something, but I like that. Let's, let's put a butterfly. Let's put a butterfly in here. She put some little butterflies. Let's see. Gold and silver, I believe. So which one to go? Let's do silver. Let's put a silver butterfly in there. Let's do two of those. I want to put those on uh, one for, put um both sides silver. So I'm gonna get two of those. And I'm gonna get my little combo glue. And I'm going to Put some glue on there. And then we're going to huh. okay. Let's double side it now. Now I'm gonna kinda of like I'm gonna use this tweezer because it's kinda of easier to bend it. I'm gonna put that in the middle and just bend it up. And then I kind of like that because then you have like a it gives you like a instead of just folding it in half it gives you like a little flat area where you can actually glue it down okay so we're gonna put it let's put it somewhere on the little bowl or the little paper mache thing let's see
How do you like that, guys? Uh huh. That was quick. All right. I like that. Okay. Now let's do one of these. Um. Circle scallops. Let's put these away. Circle scallops. Let's do a different print. And let's see. Now, probably what I'm going to do with, I'm going to do probably three layers. No, I'm going to do two. Now, I'm going to use my tool that I just had. I'm going to use a bigger one. And we're going to, again, make these flower petals a little bit more dimensional. So, let me get a piece of foam. So we're going to, I'm going to put it double side too. That I didn't notice. Hmm. Okay. So let's look at the other ones. Let's see what we got on the other side of these. Okay. Let's do that side. Yeah, let's do that side. And maybe that side. Okay, so the side that I want to show, I'm going to do the, on the back side. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to go to every little scalloped edge and kind of round it. Or you can just push it down like that. I'm going to roll it around a little bit. Give it some shape. So they all curving outward. And I'm gonna flip it back over. Then I'm gonna go and kind of like do some in the middle. Probably not gonna do anything much in the middle. But you see how this the edges are curved. Okay, so I'm gonna do it on the second one. This time, but I'm gonna again flip it over because I want it to be. No, let's see if use a big one. I like that one better because you can leave it in ditches with the other one. Oh, with this one, you can probably just press down on it and don't even have to roll it around. Yeah, that's just with the, Yeah. Okay. That was big. Okay. So we want this one on the bottom, and we're going to kind of offset that a little bit. Ah, oh, I can't get it right. Okay. So I want that one on the bottom, this one on the top. Again, I'm going to put a little, let's use hot glue. Going to offset that. No, I have trouble doing that. Okay. Now we're going to get one of those other flowers, like this one. So like that. You like that? Huh. That's a white one. Oh, I like that one better. Yeah. Let's do that one. And we're also going to put a word bead on here. Since this is kind of big. So it's not going to be so much as a flower. It's just an embellishment. I mean, well, flower embellishment. But All right. Let's see what kind of words we have in here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and glue this in the center. Hmm. 
line. Peace. I've got two words now. Princess, kiss, win, hug. And believe, always. Let's see. See, I hate about this glue is that I tend to lay it down or have it stored upside down or with this up, you know, upright. And if I don't put the lid back on it, it was standing up or lying down, it's going to ooze out of there. I love my Tombow, but I don't like the way it just continues to flow out of a darn container if you don't put the lid back on it. Okay. All right. So we're going to pick a word bead. Um, or maybe you can put one of these hearts, a pearl heart. Let's see. No, I don't think none of these are going to work. Because if I did want to be Buddha, if I did it in pink like that. So I don't think none of those are going to work. I'm not going to, let's go back in there. Because I'm not even going to work with trying to put them back in that bag. Okay. All right. So let's do a word. Princess or divine hug. Let's do hug. Let's do hug. Somehow put that on there somewhere. No, I probably should have moved this off to the side. Let's see if I can undo this without. damage anything too much. Let's see if we can pull that off. I'm gonna put this over to the side and then we'll have room for the word hug. Yeah, let's do it that way. A little bit of paper come off. We're gonna cover it up anyway. So I'm gonna move it over to the side a little bit. And then we're gonna put hug right there. paper that we just tore up and also let's put another a little leaf in there yeah lift that up let's see if I can put it on the leaf okay we're going to stick that in there How's that, guys? Okay. Okay. Now, if I get any hot glue on my phone, I'm going to be mad. Okay. So, there's a second one. All right. So, let's put this scallop circles away. Now, what next? Um, paper clip. Let's do a paper clip. Okay. Um, let's see. We'll do two. Okay, I know that I want one of these flowers on there. And see that matches perfectly that gold or center. So we're going to put paper clip on here. Hold it down for a second. And while it's still hot or wet or not dry, let me see if we can put something on the other side. If not, I just add another. another I see that's what I like about these double side because you can put that on cover that up and you still get something pretty on the other side let's see let's do that one I'll put some more glue because I didn't do that fast enough so I'm going to put some glue I'm going to stick that that way. I'm just going to kind of like shuffle the back of that. And then we're going to dress this up some more. So let's see what can we find to put on there. Let's see. Make it double sided. It's a little bow. I like that bow. I might use it on something else. Okay. Hmm, we can put a heart on this side. 
put them right in the middle of that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put, put them right in the center of that heart. So now we have a double-sided decorated paper clip. That side. Get the glue strings off. And then that side. Huh. That's crazy. Okay, pretty. All right. Now, we've used hearts, so put those away. Now, we're not going to use these again. Uh, we might use those hearts again. I mean, those, uh, what do you think we're going to do with the paper clip? I love this rose, but if I did that, I'm going to have to paint that. And you know what? I'm going to paint it so y'all can see how easy it is to paint uh, these acrylic pieces. But the problem is we got to figure out what color we want to use. So I'm looking from my where I'm standing, so I don't, I'm not going to decide before I walk over there which piece, what paint we're going to use. Hmm. Yeah, really, yeah. It's not really any pink. This is all mostly peaches, and I don't think I have anything close to being peach over there. Um... But I do have some gold. And since the pivot clip is gold, of course I don't want too much gold going on. Let's see. I think I want to try this. Oh. Let's see. We're gonna see if this work. It is called light mocha. It's kind of like a tan color. So it's kind of. It's close. All right, so I'm going to get out a paintbrush. And even though I don't have running water right here, guys, I have um, a bottle of water here that I use. And when I need to use paint, I pour water. I get my little jug. It's like a little empty water jug or orange jug, juice jug, whatever. <gasps> and I pour too much water. And I just pour water in there. And I have something to clean my brush with. Okay, so let's pull out something else. So I won't get my surface wet. Um, pull out my mat. This is too big, but I won't pull it out anyway. Hopefully, we won't have to roll it out too much. I'll really use this thing. I didn't know I didn't clean that off. Okay, this is going to be out temporarily. All right, where's the piece? Okay. Okay, so. Oh. Hold that. Okay. Now let's paint this flower. I used to like to come out of the lid. I didn't get my paint out of the lid. Sometimes I will literally put the lid on there, shake it up just to get some in the lid so I can dip paint out of the lid instead of dipping my paint in the bottle. Cause I don't like paint getting all over, you know, past the bristles. That's just, ugh, I can't stand it. Okay. And I'm going to pounce this paint into the little cracks and crevices in there to get all down in there. You see how that's coating already? So, like I said, when you, uh, get these, um, if you decide to get any of this or if you haven't already, and if you don't know already, acrylic paint paint works really well on these um, acrylic pieces that you pour from the amazing casting resin. And that's another thing. Of any of you that I have sent these pieces to and, and I didn't paint them for you, this is how you do it. And I'm just pouncing the paint on there. And get all I'm already the way I'm pouncing is because I want to get it all to the cracks and crevices in there. Get all down in between the petals. And see how good that took. Okay. Let me make sure I got every no white showing. I think I see a spot. Yep, there's a spot of mist. 
That's about under there. Yeah, um, you just gotta make sure that um, with pieces like this, you gotta turn and make sure you get all of the little spots. And I'm gonna paint the back side too because I'm just gonna turn it over and um, it's probably gonna be showing a little bit, so I'm gonna be on the safe side and paint the back too. Now, if I was sticking this flat down on something else other than a paper clip, then I wouldn't paint the back. Again, see how easy that took? And now I have messy hands. Ugh. I think I might do some more of these. I'm in the mood for making more curly pieces. There's the back. Okay, let's put that over out of the way. I'm gonna have to move that because I will end up knocking that over. That mat is gonna get on stuff, and I need to clean my hands. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna wash that. Get some wet wipes. And look, they're not so wet. <laughs> All right, well, I got a little wipe. I'm gonna clean my hands, and we're gonna go ahead and. Move this mat and this back up. Put that away. All right. Now I'm going to um, probably go ahead and get some pink paint, and I'm going. To, I'm not going to use tooth um, toothbrush, a paintbrush with it. I'm going to use. Um, let's use the mat. No one minute. Let's use this. I haven't opened this yet. I'm going to use my finger because I'm really not going to be um, painting it. This is more like a accent. So now this is one I kind of. No, let's see. I might have to do it this way. I usually don't do it this way, but for video's sake, I'm doing it this way now. And where is my Okay, I'm clean this off, make sure that's good. And I'm just gonna take paint in there. I'm gonna do it like that. I get it on my finger, and then I'm just gonna kind of like just get the tips of those flowers, the petals rather. And then it's dry before I can get it off my finger. And I'm just doing that. Okay. And um and again because uh this was a acrylic piece and it was white, this is the only thing I'm gonna use uh, other than uh tools to uh use anything out of brush, but I'm gonna put my sting in here, wipe my finger my hands off. Let me get this paint off. I mean I can get it off later, but Get the majority off of it now. Okay, so that's that, and that's how that look. Let me show it to you again. That's how that flower looks. It would be cool if I put some. Um, let me see, some stickles on there. Yeah, but again, I'm just trying to stick with the embellish the things in the embellishment. So I don't want to go too much outside of what's in the box. So. Um, now, where's the paper clip? What do I do with it? I get a paper clip that walked off, y'all. Things do that, y'all. Just walk off. Just grow legs and just walk off. I don't know where the paper clip went. Big as it is, I don't see it. Y'all see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. Okay. So now I'm going to stick that on there. And you know what? Let's go back to these scalloped circle pieces and we can probably find something pretty to put behind it or better yet on the other side of this I'm gonna scratch that up because it's not dry yet but oh well it's gonna be covered up anyway and put that on the back piece like that and okay so oh and look that's the perfect piece to go in there okay so we're going to 
glue this on the back. I'm going to put glue on the paper clip itself. And guys, for all of you that watch my videos, they probably haven't paid, noticed that or paid attention um, in my other videos. But I, I don't know why I do it. I'm looking at it. I know what it is by calling something else. Every time I pull out a clothespin, I always say paper clip. I don't know why I do that. And I go back and watch the video like, dang it, Trish, you called it a paper clip again. I know it's a, a clothespin. But why on earth I call it a paper clip as beyond me? I have no idea why I do that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down so you can get to the stick. Wow. The glue is still wet. And there's that. Okay. Now we're going to dress up the back a little bit because that is just a little too plain. Alright, so now what we're going to put on there. Probably another acrylic piece? No, because then we'll have to paint it. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what else is in here. Maybe a, another acrylic piece, like this white piece, put it on there somewhere, um, like an embellishment on a paper clip. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't, oh, wait a minute. I use one of these. I also wore a word. If I can get them open. These are so cute. I love these little metal colored beads or flowers. And these are metal, guys. When well, I think they are. Yeah. These are just so, so pretty. Okay. And I want to use gold to uh, match the, the paper clip. So. I don't want the back of the paper clip to hang off. And let's put a we'll put a word on there or just the heart. Let's see. Divine. With or without the the heart. I know I want to put a word on there. Without or with. Uh, let's see here. No. With or without, guys? Let's do without. But then it looks like it's going to be missing something if I don't put it on there. Ooh, wait a minute. There's sequins in here. She gave me some sequin mix. Okay. We got some bling on this. Okay. So, let's go ahead and glue this down. Let's glue that down. And then we're going to glue down... Not princess, but we're going to use the word divine. I don't want that water over, Trish. Do not want that water over. Okay. And now, let's pour out some of these sequins and stick some of those on there. Oh, look. There's a flower. There's some flowers in here. Let's do flowers. Random flowers. Or better yet, let's see how do it look if we stuck it on the front. Nah, we'll, pop, we'll go back to the front. Um, or uh, better yet, I think I like these better. These little, I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of like a hmm, an iridescent yellow. And it goes with the gold. So let's do the, put a, three or four of these. You know what, let's do an odd number. Let's do like three of those. Let's see if I can find another one. Yeah. And uh, do them, place them randomly on here. Huh, I like that. Yeah. And that bling I was talking about, I could have put it on there or some on here, but we're already done with those. Okay, in there. 
Okay. Let me put that away. All right. Now, let's... Randomly, this is a big paper clip, so the big old embellishment right here does not look out of place because the paper clip is huge anyway. I gotta move that one if I knock it over because if I knock it over, I'm not gonna be happy. Let me move this out of my way. Put this over here. If I need it, I'll just get it again. All right, pull off the glue. And there's that side of the paper clip. Now let's go back to the front. And let's see. We need some sparkly on this side or something. On this side. I mean, it's probably look okay there, but stickles will go great on that. But again, there's no stickles in the embellishment box, so we're not gonna do that. Alright, let's see. Um I like these really light, well, probably too light, pink. Let's go and pour these out. Or yeah, we can probably put some green on there to emphasize leaves. And just put a few randomly here and there. Yeah, I like sweepers, but they're just sometimes too tiny to be messing with. Do I like that? Not really. Okay, let's do the flowers. Let's do the little flowers. See what, oh yeah, I'm already liking that already. Let's do the flowers and randomly place them here and yonder. Okay, we need one more. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. So, I'm going to show you these little flowers sequin before I put them on there. See that little flower sequin? Okay, so we're going to put it one right here. Oh, 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 oh. That one right there. And the other two. I'm going to put one here. and one here and how I pick up sequins guys because I try using tools they don't work I just lick my finger I pick up to I, I lick my finger and pick up the sequins Getting messy with this dang glue. Okay, and it's not sticking because I'm moving around before it gets dry. Let's try that one more time. Okay. Okay. There it goes. I like that. Again, it could be just more, but I'm just strictly sticking to the contents of the embellishment box. So that's one, two, three, four. That little paper, um, yeah, paper clip. Now, let's put these away. And this time, I'm not going to do the finger looking thing. Let's do this. This is quicker. And next we're going to do um, probably a little file folder. Make a little embellishment out of that. We're going to leave out the bling because we might need this again. Bling always gives it that oh, that something. You know it's missing something. Head bling. Okay. Now we got four. And let's do this. 
we're going to use one of these little file folders as an embellishment and let's see which one do we want to use let's do that one wait a minute oh yeah there that one because i want to use this i want to wrap this around there i don't want really to go with that one but it goes with this one Look through here and see if I missed anything. And I don't think I have. No. Okay. So. That's not on my side. Let me fold it this way. I don't like that either. This one goes. This goes better with that than it does with the other one. I'm going to try not to close it. That's so our front would just cover. And so I'm just going to measure it and then cut it off a little bit. And before I glue this down, because I haven't been doing it like I usually do, um, I'm going to see how things look before I actually start gluing stuff down. Okay, so now, oh, I like that owl, but, and it looks okay plain. I mean white if I don't paint it. And uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to move it over this way. So... I, I might have to cut this off some more. Move it over there so I can put the owl here and cover up that join of the ends of that. And let's see what else. Maybe a word. Okay, we got dream, believe, always, um, kiss, learn, make. And love and peace. I think I like peace. And I think I'll probably put one of those flowers on here. One of these metal flowers. I'm looking around to see if there's anything else I can try. Or we could probably use this acrylic bow right here. Cover that up. And then, nope, I like that all better already. I'm going to put that back. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and glue this shut so I can keep holding that closed. And I know I'm going to put this on, so I'm going to glue this across the back. And I'm going to... Nope. I'm going to put it on there all wrong. Okay, so we're going to... Ugh. Nope. I think I'm putting it on here wrong. Okay. I'm going to have to cut that off. I got glue on my fingers. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. That side. This is a teeny bit just to hold it in place. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this off some. Uh, stick it way over there. Okay, let's cut it down just a teeny bit. Then we'll put the owl over to cover up that join or that seam. Oh, I did make a mess, guys. Knock it over stuff. Okay. Let's put it right away. And then we're going to glue the owl down. Let me see. Let's see if we can put a heart behind that. Let's see. Let me bring it up a little bit. Or we could probably go ahead and put that heart down there and then go ahead and use that bow. No, I realized I didn't use the bow because it wasn't big enough. I like the owl better. So I'm going to. 
Oh, I see one place to ow. I want the heart up kind of low because I don't hit covering the the owl covering it too much. So I'm gonna place it up a little bit and then the owl is gonna go right there. I like it, I like it. I'm gonna put it right in the center. And dangling everywhere. I got a little thing of what is that? Get off, get off. Got a little okay, got it off. Okay, so how it looks so far, guys? Yeah. I'm asking y'all y'all. Y'all can I can actually hear y'all answer me. I don't know. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that live thing I was thinking about doing. Um I learned I learned how to go live on YouTube on my phone. Um and because I did a couple a couple of test um um videos and I didn't show them, make them public. Somebody saw them. I deleted them before. Uh, anybody could see them anyway. But like I said, they weren't even uh, made to the public anyway. So, but I did make a couple of videos. They, I like, they turned out really good. Um, even though they were just test videos. And let's put, we need some bling. I'm thinking I should put a flower. What was it going to put? What was it going to put, guys? I forgot what words I'm going to use. Peace. Run. No, I want that one. You. I didn't see that one. Love. Was it love? Or was it dream? I don't even remember. Let's put dream. Okay. So I'm going to put that there. I'll put it up there. No, I like it down here. And then... Again, we're going to stick with the gold theme, but I don't like that. So, we won't be using any of these metal flowers. We're going to go back to the sequins. From the sequin mix. Oh, good lord, it's getting hot out here. I don't know when I'll be able to craft again. Or make any more videos because... We're going to get our grandbabies again today when my husband gets home and I'm not going to be doing anything at least until he gets home from work because I'm here with them during the day uh, until 3 o'clock. But I mean, he gets off at 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock is about one time he gets home. And so I'll be stuck with the little crumb stuff until he gets here. Let's kind of tilt that a little bit. So I probably won't be able to get out here. Now the older three, they're fine. I can just they can be playing the Xbox or you the Wii or something and they're good. It's a two year old that I'm gonna have an issue with because she's all about her granny. She loves to be attached to me. Um, so I don't know why I'm putting stuff. I might need it again. But uh hopefully I can bring her out here and get her distracted with something or put a movie in or something and have it low so uh i can at least do a video or crap just do, to do that if not make a video but she she's like she likes to touch everything she always into something but anyways we gotta figure out what else i need to put on here i wish i had a pink flower that'd be cool not nope. a smaller pink flower that is now the bling was too big i mean the the metal ones because I don't like the, I mean, the pink probably would go, but I don't really like the metal, the metallic look of it. I mean, they're pretty, but, you know, it doesn't always go with everything. But then again, it probably does. Now that I put it on there. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick that on there. Stick it right next to the owl. And there we go. Ah! Okay. And there's that one. And the acrylic piece that I didn't paint. You don't have to paint them all the time. You know. I'm going to show y'all something real quick. Now, I'm going to show y'all another technique. Some Kind of like what that flower I did. I'm going to show you what you can do with a piece of something like this. And you want to make it look... Um, 
vintage or whatever, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to need some paint. You know what? Never mind. I don't mean to get y'all hopes up and everything. I'll do that in another video. When I'm, uh, I'm going to do a uh, video on painting acrylic pieces. And I'm not going to do the dominoes. So I'm going to put all the other stuff back. And I think that'll be enough. Uh, because the last video that I did on this, and it took forever to upload because it was so long. Long videos, I, like I said, I got to get better internet or more gigs or something. Because when I'm out here trying... Look at this, y'all. I could have put that on there. Not paying attention to what I was doing. I could have put that. You know, I probably still could take that off. Let's see if... You know, I think I like that better. Let's take this pink flower off. Let's take that off. And it didn't mess up nothing. Cool. And let's cut a piece of this. Let's cut... <clears throat> I have to put my flowers up. My scissors up and I needed them. Okay. Let's cut one of these. Let's put one of these little flowers in there. I forgot all about these. Hmm. Okay. Let's cut off some of this knitting. I want to all that this shoe. Cut it off the other side. Probably should just cut forward and under, but oh well. Oh yeah, I like that better. Okay. Oh! You are a genius. Yes, I tell myself a genius. Okay, how does that look better? I like that one better, guys. Yeah, I like that one. I like the English stretch. Yep, I like that. Okay, so again, another embellishment box. Making embellishments was strictly from the contents of the box, and nothing else. Well, I did use a little paint, but um, nothing else. And that is that. Okay. Because I'm needing more embellishments, you know, that, so I'm, I'm starting to embellish, um, well, I got embellishment boxes, and that was my thing. Well, I mean, I'm a, you know, I guess different people have different ideas about the embellishment box. My thing is, is that I'm going to be using mostly, like this, I'm going to be using the contents of the box to make embellishments and nothing else. Um, and so I'm thinking that there's probably people... Some of you that would rather use the embellishment box contents for you know to use on other stuff i'm going to do that too but this is the first thing i'm going to do it first out of the box i'm going to make embellishments from the contents in the box and then whatever i have left over is what i'm going to be using um for anything else but so these are five embellishments that i made from this box Turned out pretty cool. I'm liking these embe these embellishment boxes. So again, if anybody wants to swap a box with me, I have the big ones and the small ones. They are under this desk right here, right here in this area. Um, so like the one I just showed you, I got buttload of these, and I have some of these. I can always go back. These were the only ones that was easy to find. Um, so I can get those anytime. But the bigger ones. I could not find them. So anytime I went to a certain Dollar Tree, I would pick up like four or five of them, uh, or at least three or something like that. So I got a ton of those. So and I rather like uh, the bigger boxes. But yeah, if anybody slide these down so you can see them. If anybody wants to do an embellishment box swap, um, uh, either I host one or somebody just want to swap one on one with me, um, just hit me up and we'll do that. But there you go, guys. Another set of embellishments for my embellishment box that I got in the swap. And hope you like them. Have a crafty day. Bye.